I was telling Stacy that we're like super off season, we're like the lame uh, travelers or lame tourists. There's actually really few people around, but also you have to say it's like uh, Tuesday morning, like I don't know, around 9 a.m. So, yeah. I mean, so far this like small little beach town seems nice there's a good vibe probably because there's not many people around so it seems like well well kept it's like clean shops and restaurants on both sides here as you can see probably behind me the marina on the other side so it seems like a good place to come and visit and maybe stay a couple nights if you're taking a ferry to Greece or if you're coming from Greece or if you're coming and going from Istanbul so if you're like interested just check Cheshme out on Google and see what it is on the west coast of Turkey and so as you can see here in Cheshme everything seems like uh, seems like neat and clean well kept and even we were considering and thinking about our travel and our trip even like coming from uh, Thessaloniki in Greece just with the bus towards Istanbul we could notice the difference from Greece entering to Turkey I mean Turkey seemed like more well kept more seems like cleaner uh, obviously there's also more police around so maybe that's one of the reason maybe that's one of the reason why it seems like safer or cleaner maybe they um, you know have less tolerance for I don't know disorder and litter or whatever obviously it's hard to uh, know the dynamics and politics and geopolitics of a place just in a couple of weeks but I mean so far it seems like uh, the Turkey is like so far it seems like the Turkey is like cleaner and more organized uh, than Greece, uh, even than a, a lot of places in Italy that we've been and so obviously like I said seems like there's more police more control so that could be like a double-edged sword it's better for some things it's maybe not so good for other things but obviously as tourists or travelers we have a I'm sure different ideas than the locals but I don't know we don't know any locals yet so it's hard to say maybe if you're a local and you're in this area you can comment on it but so far at least uh, we've seen locals everywhere yesterday we took a bus from uh, Istanbul to here in Cheshme and pretty much Stacy and I were the only two non-Turks so we've been with locals and whatnot and you know we paid the same price that they paid so they did what we did and everything was fine so definitely i noticed there's more uh, you know control on the streets more control on the highways more police presence so that maybe it's like one of the reason uh, but i've seen so far police officers are pretty like cool and laid back i mean you can go there ask them questions and even a uh, some of them speak little English, usually they're pretty laid back, but uh, I think that could be one deterrent uh, or maybe because during the summer there's a lot of people, a lot of, you know, uh, traffic coming and going from Greece and Europe, so I mean in theory, actually in reality we have to think that here in Turkey we're not in Europe, so obviously we're like crossing a different continent, so maybe that's one of the reasons why there's more police presence so usually they're like around strategic points or like you know ports or city centers obviously we were in Istanbul that's like a huge city so definitely that could be a good deterrent and uh, but who knows obviously it's better more freedom and less control but unfortunately a lot of people they need to be controlled and checked in order to be responsible people I guess uh, that's obviously a more complicated issue but so far here Cheshme seems like nice I mean there's a nice vibe obviously there's not many people around so maybe that helps maybe during the summer it's really crowded uh, that I don't know you know see the castle in front of me like a minaret 
So, so far seem very interesting. So we're just having a look at some of the prices uh, around Cheshme to get an idea. This word daira, it seems like it means uh, apartment and like satelik seems like it means to sell. And average prices between 200 and 500,000 because we're looking at things like 3,000 Turkish or 3 million Turkish lira up to like 10,000 Turkish lira. Obviously, you have to see which area these are located in. So we were just walking around here in Cheshme in this nice little uh, neighborhood a little bit like away from the main street and it seems like for whatever reason all the cars in the world had to like go by exactly when we were making a video but uh, this is nice actually this area it could be even like somewhere in Sicily or some other parts of Italy at least this area here So then apparently this word uh, Cheshme comes from Persian which means uh, fountain or spring so probably because there were a lot of like springs here in the area and this neighborhood here seems like more like Greece but there were like a lot of like rundown buildings uh, like garbage and you know next to hotels and then there's like the typical stray dog that's like following us but he's minding his own business I mean he seems like pretty friendly you know there's a problem with the stray dogs especially in Greece and also here in Turkey we've seen a lot but generally they have microchips who knows maybe it's like the sort of a guardian or something maybe it's like checking the neighborhood who knows and then in front of me you can see the the sea maybe it's waiting for food but we have no food and so that's the port or like the bay you can see there's like a newer building with rundown buildings this is like a hotel it seems like a little bit more stylish and then uh, I don't know what this dog wants from us but uh, yeah that's cool so now there's two dogs I guess following us and Coming from this way, pretty much in this neighborhood, uh, we ended up here. You can see the sea, and this up here is the castle. We don't know if we can actually get into the castle. But probably we have to go down to come back up. 
because this is pretty abandoned from here we don't know and there's like a guy I guess he knows the dog but uh, he has no food and there's another cat joining him so well, I guess he has dog food so I guess they know so this is a nice like downhill street and it goes down towards the sea and as you can see here Trasme I think is a little you know like on two different levels you have all, all like as many times in the sea towns like the upper side and then you go down towards the uh, sea and in fact this fortress or castle was probably built here for a strategic reason because in theory from here you can see the whole bay especially if you are on the other side um, this is the view from up here and so as you can see from up here this street is like pretty steep I have an idea how the is the dog here still how the cars can go up and down we see one that was just like backing up all the way it was probably safer to back up than the other way I don't know but as you can see there's a nice uh, steep walk downhill to go towards the uh, sea and the beach where the like uh, cruise ships are and from here you can see like the castle up here it was a pretty strategic location that's why I guess they built it here so so far it seems like this town of Çeşme here on the western coast of Turkey seems pretty interesting it seems there's like a good vibe to it so far but obviously we're here in low season it's April we don't know during the summer and there's this dog who's following us or guiding us who knows or none of the two and now the muezzin is calling the people to prayer and from here you can see another part of the castle on our level i don't know if we can get in or not but that's how it looks like from here so this is the street where we came from and so this is the castle from outside the statue of uh, Hassan Pasha with the huge lion and I guess we have to pay to get in we don't know if we want to pay yet because we don't know if you have time this morning as we were saying before this word satellite uh, it looks like it means for sale and this is what we could, you can buy here in Cheshme pretty much you just like here where the action is I have no clue how much it would cost but we probably have to tear it down and build something no first is he paid uh, 30 Turkish lira liras for this one which is just one uh, scoop of lemon so pretty much it's like one dollar one euro for a scoop That's how you work in safety in Turkey and here is like the city center or like the main street so and then this is looks like a, more of a local neighborhood and this is a, still like a one part of the city of the marina here these guys here are working one thing that we notice even here in turkey and even in this seaside town i mean they uh, pass pretty often to clean the city you know they like just replace the trash bags and whatnot so probably that's why it's pretty clean even compared to other places we've been in europe like in seaside towns this one here seems like pretty clean here in Cheshme. Yeah, we were in Corfu in Greece and there were like dumpster overflowing with trash but you know that's an island so maybe it's a bit more difficult here we're still like it's still like a peninsula so it's attached to the mainland but still Turkey in general seem cleaner so that's good what do you think of the coffee Lenny we discovered in a Turk Turkish language to say good coffee it would be e cafe or oh, cafe with a v e cafe this is the best coffee so far we've had in turkey since we got here today's our last day here we've been here like nine or ten days in turkey so if you want to have a good coffee and you're in cheshme 
Turkey, then you can come to the Yucca coffee. So here we are still at uh, in Chesme, and today we par uh, depart for Kios, which is, so essentially we're going from Turkey now back into Greece. We were supposed to be in Kios until Saturday morning, uh, but then we discovered that there's no ferries going from Kios to Athens on Saturday for whatever reason, either because it's still low season, we're at the end of April right now, or because it's a national holiday on the 1st of May, or because there's also strikes, I guess, taking place on the 1st of May. So for whatever reason, there's no ferries on Saturday, so we basically are losing a night in the hotel to, um, to take the ferry Friday night to go from Kios to Athens. So if you're taking this uh, trip like how we're taking it, and we'll do a video, like a final video at the end of this to like map out our route that we took. But if you're doing this, just um, remember to make sure of your ferry times. Check the ferries ahead of time before booking hotels or, or making any plans. Cause like we're going from like Kios to Athens. And even like he is down to Mykonos, down to Santorini, down to Crete, there's like no, no ferries on that day at all. So just something to keep in mind so you don't have to lose a night at the hotel like we're doing. And this is the apart hotel where we're staying, the Marina Sahil Hotel here in Cheshme. So we're waiting for the ferry at 6 o'clock, so they're like letting us stay here in their little garden here, patio. So that's cool. Uh, people seem like nice. Uh, the manager thinks she speaks English, but the other two guys, the other two people, not that much. So we use Google Translate, but at least they seem like nice and friendly, so that's good. So we're just waiting in uh, Cheshma, waiting for the ferry to go to Kios. It's 4.30 p.m. and I guess we can check in at like 5 so we're just waiting for like half hour and we got there to do our check-in. We checked in at the first place but now we have to go through the little customs because we're exiting Turkey and um, apparently they just raised like the exit fee from like 2 euros to 12 euros. They just raised it on the 1st of March so if you come to um, Turkey now you essentially have to pay a 12 euro exit fee. Um, I imagine the airports are the same, but we're taking a ferry and that's what I chose. Uh, yeah, it just it switched from 2 euros to 12 euros now, just the first part, so that was kind of a bummer.